Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a deadly duo in love that loves reacting to some death battle. And it's time for Thor versus Raiden. Yeah, it is. Uh, so familiar with both of these characters, more Thor than, than, than Raiden, but I mean, you know, we've done a ton of Mortal Kombat reactions on our other channel, uh, Definitely Not Definitive Games. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't... Who do you think is going to win? Any predictions? So I, I think Raiden. You think Raiden? I'm going to go with Thor. All right, you're Team, team Raiden. I'll go, I'll go with Thor as, as, as my bet, and uh, we'll see who comes out victorious. That's what we'll do. We'll, do, we'll pick champions. Mine's not based on anything powers related. Mine's just like... I like his hat. <laughs> it's, he's in Mortal Kombat, so he's going to be a lot more comfortable with like gore and death and just brutality than Thor, so I feel yeah. like he's got the edge. Thor's going to think it's so much of a game. Okay. All right. Good, good reason. Good logic. The gods of thunder may endure eternal rule, but in the ring together they are anything but immortal. The mighty Thor, Prince of Asgard. And Lord Raiden, Defender of Earthrealm. He's wears an arm booster. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In Norse mythology, Thor is the god of thunder, strength, healing, and oak trees. Well, regardless, he was badass enough to get his own comic book. For Odin's son was conceived between the Allfather and Earth's Elder Goddess with the intent of creating the strongest man in the universe. He can lift over a million tons, move at supersonic speeds, never feel exhaustion, survive the vacuum of space, and talk with frogs. He's a man of poison, burns, and electrocution, and he can survive the heat of the sun or even a planet-bursting explosion. Well, I guess Damn. that's what happens when God begs the Earth. While Thor is not <laughs> invulnerable, he is augmented by his godly status and a fraction of the all-powerful Odin Force sealed within Mjolnir, his enchanted hammer. That's his weapon? That thing is way too tiny. I mean, if he was the god of mending fences or something, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit! Never mind! Mjolnir is mystically bound to Thor and obeys him as if it were alive. And if it were any larger, it would be too heavy to wield. So it's not the size of his hammer, it's how he uses it. It was forged by dwarves using the core of a dying star, which went supernova and killed all the dinosaurs. Yeah, forget anything I ah. said earlier. Yeah, I'm like exactly. the dino slaughtering hammer. Where can I get one? So Mjolnir can Thor only be wielded by <laughs> Thor, uh, although there is a workaround. Red Hulk once carried the hammer into space because Thor was still holding onto it, which may be one of the dumbest technicalities ever. But <laughs> Mjolnir is not the only thing in Thor's arsenal. He wears the belt of strength, which, surprise, doubles his already powerful might. And naturally, as the god of thunder, Thor can manipulate the weather. Storms, tornadoes, the wind, he can even summon deadly bolts of lightning. He also has some control over the earth. He can make earthquakes that span entire continents. Thor has fought and defeated many of the most powerful warriors in the Marvel Universe. He's mastered enough martial arts to box Captain America to a standstill and has even overpowered the Hulk. Although, in the past, he could lose his powers when separated from his hammer. Which is pretty stupid, considering his main method of attack is throwing the damn thing. <laughs> but through some convoluted magic absurdity, this is no longer a problem. In fact, he has no specific physical weaknesses, though he does suffer from a superiority complex. Arrogant and eager to fight, he often ignores even the most perceptible risks. I like him! <laughs> Next. According to Japanese legend, Raiden is the god of thunder and storms who, when angered, devours the stomachs of children as they sleep. Oh wow! Mm, child haggis, just like mom used to make. Well, whenever he oh, had a bill of defenseless sleeping children, I guess he decided to protect the earth from evil. Raiden is the defender of Earth Realm and a key leader in shielding it from the forces. Seven of feet. Realizes that's all. He's a master of several different fighting styles and amps them up with powerful electric attacks. He sometimes wields a wooden staff, but generally prefers his fists. From the mobile kicks of Taekwondo to the anti-armor combat of Jiu-Jitsu, Raiden's wide variety of fighting styles complement each other perfectly to take down any kind of opponent. This Thunder God uses several lightning charge special attacks, like the vicinity blast, electric fly, and the shocking touch. Not to mention, when finishing his foes, he discharges so much electricity into them that they combust. The sheer power of these lightning attacks apparently overload his brain, causing him to spout out random gibberish in mid-attack. <laughs> As an eternal god, Raiden is entirely composed of ethereal energy, and can morph into various forms of electrical force. 
With this trait, he gains teleportation, flight, and unlimited endurance. And like any other Thunder God, Raiden has all sorts of control over the weather and lightning. Raiden has so much power, he can even achieve scientifically impossible feats, like channeling electricity through insulated wood. <laughs> Take that, <laughs> physics! He is one of the most powerful characters in the Mortal Kombat universe, and has successfully defended Earth for centuries. He eventually became the all-powerful Elder God of Earthrealm, but relinquished this power in order to protect the people of Earth. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. While he is an immortal, formless god, he is not indestructible and has limits. In order to fight among others, he must take a form susceptible to mortality. But he still retains all of his godly powers and is tough enough to effortlessly smash through solid <laughs> concrete. Through his numerous successes in defending Earth against impossible odds, Raiden has proved his greatest attribute to be his leadership and wisdom in battle. He is a cunning and daring strategist, willing to make whatever sacrifices necessary to achieve victory. Like this guy, that guy, <laughs> and all of these guys. Raiden, a physical example of sacrificing others for the greater good. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's have this debate once and for all. We're first, stacked. My free trial Netflix. It right definitely seems to be Here's favorite. another one. Fight. <laughs> Yep. Alright, Thor, come on. Coming into the sun. Well, only half of a few viscerate the bottom half already. <laughs> That's a fatality. Yeah. That seemed a bit overkill. <laughs> Liked it. Raiden is a clever and versatile combatant, but was completely overpowered by Thor's strength. Yeah. It also doesn't help that Raiden's main weapon, electricity, was completely useless. Yeah. Add in Thor's hammer and game over. Remember, Mjolnir was forged using the core of a dying star. When a star dies, it collapses into a super condensed neutron star. Even the smallest portion of this star can weigh a million tons. Raiden stood little chance against a blow like that. Well, at least Raiden finally found his place in the sun. The winner is Thor. Okay, I think that was that was satisfying. I mean, yeah, I I did wonder. I mean, because he had, Thor had the strength, but Raiden so Thor had the strength and the lightning, and Raiden just had the lightning and like I mean, kind of more tactical skills and like maybe more fighting ability. But they said that even that Thor at one point had learned so much uh, combat tactics that he could take on Captain America, you know, uh, head to head without you know not even factoring in his immense strength advantage there. Yeah, I mean, I think the only way Raiden would have 
honestly even stood a chance is if he had in some way like taunted Thor or or done something to cloud Thor's judgment with his own ego. Yeah. Because that that was like the one edge that I could see Raiden having was I'm like, he is wise, he is even killed, he's not gonna be prone to the emotional flights Mm -hmm. that Thor is prone to and that we've all seen in, in the movies and everything. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't he didn't use that. Or Thor just wasn't feeling very egotistical today because it just didn't... Well, he said his ego prolonged the battle. Um, it would have been shorter if, you know, if he hadn't gotten been so cocky. It does make me wonder, as we go through and watch more death battles, who can beat Thor after that kind of description of him and his powers and his... Well like, who, who could do it? You had talked about, uh, in our Doctor Strange uh, trailer reaction, you had said who, who's more powerful than, than Wanda, and you know, yep. you talked about Thor, so do you think Thor could beat Wanda? No. Yeah, still gotta go Wanda. Yeah. All right. My money was still be on Wanda. Still give it, still give it to Wanda. All right, so thanks so much for checking out our reaction for this death battle for Thor versus Raiden. Give us some more suggestions for death battles to react to down below uh, in the comments. And yeah, we got a playlist down below in the description of this video for all of our death battles. You can go ahead and check that out. And just keep in mind that our reaction for Thor vs. Raiden Death Battle is definitely not definitive.